Okay, so we need to talk guys. It's come to my attention recently that some of you guys are a little Extremely crazy. I get it. Sometimes, you know, we can be a little like crazy, you know? but no some of you guys are actually crazy I love you guys. You guys have a special place in my heart, but Hopefully this video will make you realize some things. <laughs> so since I've come to that realization recently, I decided why not give a free space for you to confess the craziest things you've done. And there's definitely some crazy things. Don't worry, I'm not gonna expose you to the world. Just you and me are gonna have to live with this. Let's get to it. So first of all, this is my sister, Maya. I like to eat chalk as a child. What does chalk even taste like? It's just like, there's no flavor. I like to eat like protein powder, just like completely dry sometimes. <laughs> chalk? It has no flavor. I secretly fucked with my best friend's twin brother and he sent our messages to the whole school. I don't know if I'm on your side here. Kinda messed up that your friend sent it to the whole school, but also why were you doing this in secret? There's probably something else you're not telling me. Also, what was so bad in these messages? Actually, I could probably imagine what was bad in these messages. I just met one of my cousins a year ago and for a while I had a big crush on him. Oh my God. Why do I keep hearing so many stories of people having something with their cousin? Like, is this a common occurrence? How many people? That's literally incest, guys. <laughs> this isn't okay. And there's all these excuses of like, oh, he's, oh, my, he's my second cousin. cousin. Oh, 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 he's, oh my he's my third, third removed cousin. What does this mean? If cousin is in the name, then it's no. I once pooped on my friend's kitchen floor and blamed the dog. They got him put down. Why were you pooping on the floor? Like you didn't even say accidentally pooped. You just said, I pooped. <laughs> How did you even get into this situation? Like, also, this poor dog, the first time he ever poops on the floor, they're like, yeah, goodbye. If I was ever in the situation where I don't know, I accidentally pooped on the floor, which I really hope I'm never in this situation. If there's a dog around, I'll say it's the dog. I write self insert fanfics for myself, like random pieces of media because it's fun. Honestly, that does sound fun. Like, is that any different to just laying in bed at night and like making up scenarios in your head? Except you're going like the extra mile. You're, I don't, I haven't written anything down in so long. I, I don't know if I can still write. My ex matched with my mom on Tinder. My mom is married to my dad and my ex is a girl. They don't know I know. I mean, you don't know what's going on with your mom and dad, you know? Maybe they're just looking for a new experience together or something. Good for your mom for exploring her sexuality, I guess. When I slammed the door on my mom after an argument, I tried to fart on the door. Why? <laughs> what were you gonna gain from that? You didn't even end up farting, you just tried. So you're just sitting there like... <laughs> One time in sixth grade, I stole my teacher's phone and broke it because he was old and mean. Depends how old and how mean. But also, like, that's a little extreme. You could have done something a little less extreme. Props to you for having the confidence and being able to go do that, but that's a- Phones are expensive, especially on a teacher's salary. But also, he could be, like, the meanest, oldest, bad, horrible teacher ever, so maybe, maybe he did deserve it. At my school once, a kid put bleach in one of the teacher's drinks, um, so at least you didn't do that. When I was little, I chased my sisters with a knife because I couldn't go to the store. I feel like this is a normal occurrence for siblings. I don't know if it is. At least me and my siblings definitely had had instances where we're chasing each other around with a knife. Maybe it's not normal, but like obviously we weren't gonna like, like kill each other. Anyways, bombed my college and Oh, <laughs> okay, this is not bad. You're just saying you failed an exam. Okay, cool. I thought you bombed your college. I'm able to eat paper. I think everyone's eaten paper before, right? Or is this also something that's not normal? I don't do it often, you know, like I did it when I was little and like when I have like paper, I like to chew on stuff, you know? I peed myself when I was drunk last week. That's also normal, I guess. Not for me though, for once. I do happen to know someone who has done it a couple times and who lives with me and probably on the other side of this door. When I was young, I saw my cat eating her baby and I cried so my mom told me it was so the baby can be born again. So when my hamster died, I was about to cut it up and eat it.
There's a few things wrong with this. Your cat should not be eating their their kittens. Second of all, your mom gave you the worst advice ever. What does she mean? Like, if you eat your baby, it's gonna be born again. No, don't eat babies. Why was your instinct to eat your hamster when it died? Guys, please don't be eating babies. It's not really, um, I don't recommend it. Hacked into and screenshotted the DMs of a bigot at my school and sent it to his parents and school admin. Ew, that's good. Expose these bitches. Confession, I've definitely done that. Someone called me the F slur. I got the footage and I, you know, I, I might have leaked it. If you're gonna say something mean to me, I'm gonna get my revenge. I'm straight, but I fucked a guy. I mean, sexuality is a spectrum, like, as long as you fuck the guy and then realize that you're straight, like, because you didn't enjoy it. But if you did enjoy it, Slay. I have some news for you. I once jacked off thinking about getting eaten by a snail. Does this count as being a furry? Oh my god, there are snail furries. Actually, this is so cute. What the fuck? This is so cute. Oh my god. I could never imagine a snail being so cute. But anyways, back to the story. I don't know if this is... Normal. I don't- like, I'm trying to understand you, like, the sliminess, maybe- no. Maybe you should talk to a therapist about this. But I'm not gonna judge. Judgment-free zone. I use Instagram without my parents knowing. Honestly, I, everyone has done that, I feel like. I did that when I was little. My parents didn't let me use Instagram and it got to a thousand followers. And then my mom found out and she made me go and block everyone that I didn't know. So I'm sorry if I have you blocked. When I was like seven, I wanted to know what poop felt like. So I shit in my head. At least you can say like, you know what it feels like. You know what, you're making me kind of curious now. <laughs> But I'm not gonna be doing that because that's not normal. But you know, like, it's an intrusive thought. You really let the intrusive thoughts win for this one. I work as a vet and during an operation on a little guinea pig, he died because of the anesthesia. These things happen, right? Like, guinea pigs die on the operating table. The one thing that I'm confused about is, okay, I know I said this was gonna be anonymous, but you say you're a, you're a vet who does full-on operations on animals. This <laughs> is your profile picture. This is a perfect example of our generation. We're gonna be full-on in like government positions with profile pictures like this. I once shat myself swimming in the sea, but I was in a wetsuit, so I swam with it all day. I don't even know what I would do in this situation. Maybe wear a diaper next time, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I once got bored when I was about nine, so I grabbed the plunger from the bathroom and shoved it up my- Are you okay? How are you alive? I don't know if you know how big a plunger is, but like, let me just- This. I once stuck three toothbrushes up- Stop sticking things up there, that's not supposed to be there. This isn't okay. Anytime I see your face, I want to sit on it. I mean, I'm not opposed. Not opposed. <laughs> Maybe. If I was mad at my sister, I used to rub her toothbrush in the toilet bowl. When I was mad at my brother once, I put soap on his toothbrush. Like, that's just a little, a little bit of damage. But the toilet bowl? That's territory you don't go into. That's too much. I can't go to bed without listening to boyfriend ASMR. What is boyfriend ASMR? Your angry boyfriend cuddles you tired after work. Oh, you're such a good girlfriend. I love the way you kiss me. I don't know how to feel about this. I see what the appeal is. This this channel has 114,000 subscribers. Honestly, uh, baby, you can. T it's been me the whole time, guys. Confession. I came out as gay to my friends, but I'm not actually gay. I'm straight. Did you just feel left out or something? Like, are all your friends just gay and you're like, yeah, you know, I've, I feel left out. It's usually the other way around, you know, like, I have a crush on my brother, so I brush my teeth with his toothbrush so that it's like we're making out. I don't know how you're gonna get out of this ordeal. Let's start with stop using your sibling's toothbrush. Second of all, y'all, like, Please stop with the incest, guys. Not okay and not legal and not- It's not okay. Stop, please. It's nice to be a little crazy sometimes, but don't be- Don't be actually crazy. Please. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the-
Bye.